Monarchs and Men uh, is based on like a odd, strange text by Max Meehan Harden, which was a, a conservative journalist at the edge of the 19th century. And uh, like it has this bloomy style and it was more like an inspiration than like it had like the whole plot, the whole dramatic structure has nothing to do with what is in a novel. We also like changed completely the the message. Actually, Monarchs of Man is not based, it's not really a novel, it's a, a kind of essay or like a piece of like fictional journalism, actually quite strange piece. Uh, with the new uh, film, I'd, I really wanted to have like kind of a, a real argument with uh, different positions and then like there are five characters who all have a different uh, position towards uh, uh, like a subject which is art and uh, in, the, in the age of capitalism and um, so uh, it was like for me important like what uh, how could this characters like be how could they be like archetypes of like uh, persons I see around me like in in like the art world there's a professor there's a, like the young ambitious artist there's a mid-career political uh, like uh, artist I took the liberty of introducing myself. Mr. Oshenking is one of our dearest patrons. Arthur, let me introduce you to Professor V. Leonard Uren, Leonard's fiance, and also a brilliant artist in her own right. Leonard needs no introduction. He is, as you know, one of the most influential artists of the century. And Billy, Billy Newman, with whom our hopes for the next generation lie. You speak as if I had received only praise. I had my fair share of criticism. Did it touch you? Hardly. They are like, uh, condensations and there are like uh, this what I what I actually like is kind of a personification they are like not uh, they could be different it was actually the most uh, difficult thing for me uh, like that you see uh, of course it's only like a very specific situation while on the other side you want to show something very general which is uh, uh, also with the whole setting in the end you end up with something which is not general which is very specific well with the dialogues and the text, you try that it has a very general meaning. Your liberty, it's a meaningless right. It's a, it's a fetish, impossible to actualize. Uh, libertarians is an old-fashioned term. I've come to identify myself with neoliberalism, which holds that human well-being can best be advanced by liberating human entrepreneurial... Well Sorry, I have to object. After the two big to fail bank bailouts, no one with half a brain can claim to be shocked that our political and economic system is designed to enrich a tiny elite, disenfranchise the rest of us. I'm on her side, absolutely. Like, there's no, I'm not, uh, I also take a position there. I don't have, like, I don't want to be neutral or, like, think that, like, uh, the political argument and the artistic value are disconnected. I, I don't think so. I think yeah, there must be more to it than the polit than the artistic value, and I think it's very uh, connected. Like so, I don't step back. I think I take sides with like uh, uh, that one character. I said no. I hadn't. Well then, you just shut your mouth. He says, puts up his head and, and walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Strange that with such views you have become the hero of the art world. Strange. In the old days, you would have been stoned. Or hanged or set on fire. But people are more tolerant today. Or more likely, they simply don't take you seriously. They see what you're doing as an act. Performance art. There's not much action in the films. They're like kind of non-action. They are like talking. I think this is important. Uh, I do that because I want to do something convincing. Like, I don't want that it's, uh, okay, it can be theatrical. Uh, like, even the most uh, naturalistic uh, a kind of acting and staging, uh, there's always a part which is theatrical, which you need and which also you need to like focus the intention, like to go on with the plot and um, uh, he, like they're kind of, it's on the one side very theatrical, but then I edit it very fast, like to kind of uh, reduce it. The text is basically uh, like a, a a collage of uh, collected uh, articles, interviews, like 
uh, in market fetcher is there are like a lot of bill gates like i kind of shifted the role of the banker like which is played by the same actor uh, quincy long like uh, from being in the uh, more like this anarcho-capitalist role to like the philanthropist was very influential like when on, on the very beginning i i uh, was inspired by this uh, uh, the Koch brothers, which on the one side are huge philanthropists, uh, like in the States, uh, like um, like uh, support the arts. At the same time, they like uh, push for like uh, new like right uh, right wing politics. You cannot go back to yesterday. Financial creativity means a higher standard of living. So what if if you don't have a job for life? Workers enjoy a freedom of having options. It's true. No, you know it's true. The artist is the only worker the capitalist wants to meet. The hedge fund manager doesn't want to talk to the guy who made his car, but he definitely wants to have dinner with the artist, isn't that so? Mr. You want Schenken. us to believe that the global rise of capitalism and the spread of what you call democracy is the common dream of all of humanity. But in truth, it isn't at all good for humanity. It is more a vehicle for savage and indestructive nihilism. Capitalism is unfair, yes, and. Uh, our democracy is imperfect, but it is not criminal. I think um, it's kind of that kind of conflict that you have, like on the one side, people who support the arts, but at the same time also uh, uh, right-wing political agenda. I thought that was interesting to me, and that was kind of the main inspiration to do the work, because I think uh, that conflict you encounter in the art constantly. There are, like, uh, on the one side, certain like ideas about like political uh, social change connected with the arts. I think it's got even stronger now. At the same time, it's uh, scenarios which are very alienated. So I thought it's interesting to kind of make a, uh, make a, a story about this. Yeah. My dear friends, the world needs another Marx. But all we keep getting are Malcolm fucking Gladwell. Read that in The Guardian a couple of weeks ago.